the Pepsi Max Unbelievable campaign was all about reconnecting with a new generation of cola drinkers. Our audience were really into YouTube, social media. It's where actually the majority of their time, uh, or a vast majority of their time, was spent. We knew already that they spent a lot more time on their online screens versus their offline screens. But more importantly, what we found out was like their avidness to have social currency and things to talk about with their friends. Our team's proposal was to reframe our brand as a publishing brand. And the best way to publish to this audience was through the creation of a branded channel on YouTube. In a category where all your brands offer you taste or no sugar, we are the and brand. We are the brand that offers you maximum taste and no sugar. And that is in itself unbelievable. We didn't focus on traditional media because in traditional media you get what you pay for and very little else. YouTube as a platform allows us to have a greater scope in what we can do and the stories we can tell. So whilst a TV campaign could be 30 or 60 seconds, on YouTube you have a greater length of time in which to tell a longer story. It also allows you to behave in a slightly different way. I think there are three main benefits to a digital first approach. First of all, there's lower costs to get into the game versus the traditional TV-led approach. Second, the speed to publish is much, much quicker. And thirdly, it opens up the possibilities of taking creative and content from multiple sources. As part of the Unbelievable Media planning, we put in a certain number of paid for views on each film. And what really was very surprising was actually how far we went beyond that. In films like Loop and Bus Shelter, we were doubling or tripling our paid views by the uptake, people kind of sharing, people embedding it on sites and it kind of turning up on new sites as well. What YouTube's offered us, which traditional media couldn't, is the ability to tap into the people that sit behind YouTube. And those people are the filmmakers, the directors, the creators that make the content that lives on YouTube. Promoting the channel is a really important part of the strategy. We spend a lot of time and energy developing great content, but we know that's only half the story. Content distribution is probably the bigger unlock for us. We chose YouTube because of its ability to connect to our other social platforms. We knew that by connecting and joining up all the dots, we could reach a much bigger audience than we could have otherwise. We think the Unbelievable campaigns perform really, really well. Our market share is growing, our subscribers have gone from 4,000 on YouTube to 66,000. Our channel, I think, has around 50 million views and growing every day. I think people are embracing the fact that you can create great things at much lower cost. You can do them much faster and you can do much more of them.